Hi, my name is Jason Harlow. Welcome to my V Office Hour. I'd like to go over Physics 131 H1S, Term Test 1, Version 1, Number 1. Uh, this problem is based on some scaling issues that we uh, discussed in practicals, uh, scaling length and volume in particular. First, let's take a look at the question. You are filling boxes with tennis balls for shipment. Each box is a cube, 0 0.30 meters on each side, and you find you can pack a maximum of 125 tennis balls in one box. If you wish to ship 250 tennis balls in a single box, also shaped like a cube, what should be the length of one side of this box? Okay, so if you have one box, and it is 0 0.3 meters on all of its sides and fits 125 uh, balls then uh, to double that number I would say double the volume would be uh, double the capacity right? Uh, And so, basically, what I would recommend is just um, uh, volume of cube is proportional to the length cubed. <clears throat> and so, the length is proportional to the volume to the one-third. And so, we want to increase the volume by two. So we increase the length. Um, length new is equal to the volume um, new volume old uh, to the power one-third. So it's twice as much volume, so it's two to the power a third. So the new length will be 0 0.3 meters times uh, 2 to the power of 1 third uh, which equals 0 0.378 and so and that's meters just slightly more than 0 0.3 so the answer is A or sorry the answer is C 0 0.38 okay to assess this uh, we've said that the box has gone from 0.3 to 0.38 and that we've got now double the amount of tennis balls does that make sense well, I think so. If you get a little bigger this way, a little taller, and a little wider, you can actually double the volume, even though each side has only increased uh, by a small amount. Another way we could uh, try to assess this if we wanted to check our answer is we could find the original volume uh, in liters. If it's 0 0.3 uh, times 0 0.3 times 0 0.3, so 0.3 meters on each side, multiply it, you get a volume of 0 0.027 meters cubed. And there's a thousand liters in a meter cubed, so that's 27 liters. So remember that number. Now if we take 0.38, and we say 0.38 times 0.38 times 0.38, the volume of that cube is 0 0.054. So that's 54 liters. So 54 liters is twice, 27 liters, so we've got twice as much volume. So seems pretty good. My name is Jason Harlow, and I approve this message.